Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today we're covering a favorite Christmas classic of mine, All of the Other Reindeer, the Christmas special that was based on the children's book. I love this special. I watch it every single Christmas at least once. I've got my hot chocolate with my candy cane in it today. I'm gonna sit down with you guys and watch this movie like I do every year with my family. <laughs> I've already watched it at least once this year and you guys wanted to see it too, so I thought, let's do it. <laughs> This is one of those holiday specials that has an insane cast of people voice acting. It's also, I love how they stayed very faithful to the illustrations in the children's book. I just think that's really cool because it gives it such a quirky look. <laughs> I love Valentine's Day and the 4th of July. I'm a little bit sad when Halloween has gone by. I miss Halloween too. Don't want to go to any more harvest festivals though. So yeah, this is Olive. She's a dog who loves Christmas. Adorable. What's the matter, Rhoda? Oh, hi, Olive. My husband and I took the kids out to buy a Christmas tree, but they're all much too big. Wait right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> here you go. All that wonderful piney smell and no needles to vacuum up. Yeah, no needles to vacuum up. No ladybugs that are infesting the tree and you think oh that's not so bad ladybugs are good luck and then you realize that the ladybugs have attracted a swarm of aphids into the tree and then the aphids are all over the house and you're vacuuming up aphid carcasses for you know the next three months not a story of anything that happened to me hypothetical rolex hmm? genuine rolex rolex genuine rolex ten bucks I didn't know Rolex had three X's. Typographical error. Fact these seconds. So Olive meets Martini. It's not lost on me how funny that is. Uh, Martini is a penguin that's been fired from the zoo and he's selling fake Rolexes. I also got pens and stationery real cheap. Oh. Are you selling counterfeit watches again? I warned you, I'll first of all, they're real Rolexes. The cop tries to shut him down, so he <laughs> gives Olive a present to keep himself from getting arrested. Second, I was giving them as a Christmas gift to my dear old friend, Olive. Right, Olive? Uh, that's right. Thanks, Martini. That she has to pay for. Nine bucks. And then she gets home and her owner, Tim, is just taking down Christmas lights like he's the Grinch or something. And she's like, but what about Christmas? And he's like, there is no Christmas this year. And then he doesn't explain. How are your dog chores coming? Did you bury any bones today? No, Tim. Chase any cars or cats? Afraid not. Did you even make a token attempt to tear up any flower beds? Uh-uh. And I haven't heard any senseless barking at all. Woof. He's also mad at her for not doing dog things like tearing up flower beds and chasing cars, which as a real life dog owner, I don't know why you would be upset that your dog is well behaved and can talk. This is apparently just something that's taken for granted in this universe. Your dog can talk and gives you Christmas presents. That sounds awesome. She has a pet flea named Fido. Why is he so upset all of a sudden? Ever since he was tiny, Tim has loved Christmas. But he thinks there's no Christmas this year. I don't know why. Are you still going to give him the slippers? Yeah, I probably should have chewed them first. <clears throat> oh, what I wouldn't give for opposable thumbs. That's a second character. What else was it? We were talking about some uh, something else in some other video and somebody was talking about how much they wanted thumbs and I said thumbs are overrated. Why can't I remember what video that was from? Leave a comment if you remember. Anyway. <laughs> Recapping our top story. Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas <gasps> Eve flight. Blitz and the reindeer was injured earlier today during a practice flight and won't recover in time. Oh no! They turn on the radio and they hear Santa say that one of the reindeer are injured, so he can't make his, you know, flight around the earth because Santa is just kind of like a public figure in this universe. Everybody knows he exists and just accepts it. He's like a celebrity. Like a Kardashian, but I don't think the Kardashians have ever, like, given people gifts just randomly. My candy cane broke. Santa had this to say. Ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. 
Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? Santa says he'll make do with all of the other reindeer, but Olive thinks that he said Olive, the other reindeer, and her pet flea is like, that's why you don't like to chase cars and stuff. You're a reindeer, not a dog. My dog doesn't really chase cars either, but he doesn't fly. <laughs> just come down the stairs and my dog has antlers and I'm just like, oh my god, how did I not know? Olive! Uh-oh, here comes Tim! And so when Tim, the owner, comes back and tries to apologize, Olive can't hear what he's saying and I I don't know if the pet flea does it on purpose or not. I think he does. He tells her the wrong thing and he's like, nah, he hates you now. Olive, I came to apologize. What did he say? I think he said, I'm ashamed of all your lies. What? We can still have Christmas. Come on in the house. I'm lighting the Yule log and there's a space for you. You can't kill my Christmas. Get out of this house. I'm getting a new dog and I'm replacing you. You should go and fly with Santa. So she runs away to the North Pole. I mean, literally, she's really booking it so fast that she runs into the mailman who's the big villain of the movie. He's happy because Santa's not flying this year and he hates Christmas. So he's glad that Christmas is canceled, which I don't think all of Christmas has to get canceled just because Santa's not flying. My parents didn't even let me believe in Santa and we still had Christmas. Anyway, he hates Christmas because he's always overworked at the holidays, which side note, be nice to your delivery people this year, they really are overworked, and support the USPS. I think that's the underlying tone of this movie. Support the USPS or they'll turn evil and try to cancel Christmas on us. The shoulder strap tears at my flesh, I'm a zombie by Thanksgiving. With four weeks torture still to come, this is no way to make a living. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. I think he reminds me, I've been trying to think about it all day as to who he reminds me of. I think it's the character from uh, Nancy Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. That game, you know what I'm talking about? Anybody? He reminds me of him. They cut down bigger, fatter logs so I can bring more catalogs. First class, third class, book great book. Is it any wonder why I sold Christmas? Bah, bug and hum. Ew, don't cut down trees just for all those catalogs. That's the other underlying message is respect the trees. I can kind of get behind this guy's message if it wasn't for the whole hating Christmas and being mean to people thing. So she goes to the bus stop. I wonder where in the world she lives that she can just ride a bus to the North Pole. Eh. Martini's like, hey man, great to see you. Can you pay for my ticket? <laughs> Come on, I I'll pay you back later. I it's Christmas. There's no room at the inn. Please. <laughs> but since the mailman doesn't want Christmas to happen, uh, he tries to arrest Olive on bogus mail fraud charges. This dog committed mail fraud. I'm taking her into custody. And so Martini uh, saves her with some of his um, illegal pens or something. And then they're actually friends. And they get on the bus and get away. So how come you're going to the North Pole? I heard Santa on the radio saying that he needed Olive, the other reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you just misunderstood. So you think Santa asked you to pull his sleigh? That's sweet. I almost hate to point out that you're a dog. I almost hate to point out that you're a dog. <laughs> that could be filed into numerous contexts. They meet these people who are go going back home to the North Pole. Hey, are you going to the North Pole? Oh, the North Pole metropolitan area. We were vacationing down here. The 40 degree temperatures were fun for a while, but whew, it'll be nice to get home. It's like any conversation I've had with my relatives up north in like the main Boston area. Shout out to you guys. Love you guys. Miss you. I'm strong for my size. And however it is that they can fly, magic beans or whatever. He is a practice. Plus jetpacks. Damn, a reindeer with a jetpack is so cool. I now want to see that. <laughs> I want to see it, an artist's rendering of a reindeer with a jetpack. I know you're all trying to be helpful, but sometimes in life you just suddenly know exactly what to do. Yeah, like the time I suddenly had no brakes going down the mountain road. What did you do? Hmm, I don't remember. But I guess it must have turned out all right. Oof. <laughs> 
not a really comforting thing to hear from the person who is driving the vehicle that you're in. The evil mailman tries to catch up to them and Martini throws a lethal looking paper airplane right into his ear and he almost crashes. Deliver this, punk! <laughs> Very intense. Olive! Where, oh, where can she be? Oh, I was too hard on her. Yeah, don't you feel bad, Tim? Look what you did. So they stop off at a diner to get some food, and the mailman dresses up as a female waitress in a very convincing disguise, by the way, to try and catch them. What'll you have? The bone. Dressing on the side, please. I'll try the deep-fried candy canes. Ah, uh, the small dead fish sampler. Maybe I should have tried the reindeer chow. That is a very versatile menu that that restaurant has. Santa Claus has scheduled a press conference for 11 o'clock tonight. He is expected to cancel his flight for the first time ever. Aw, oh, man. Hey, everybody. Don't despair. I'm Olive, and I'm going to the North Pole to help Santa. I'm the other reindeer. Woo! You go, Olive! 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 Okay. No one seems to really be on her side, but you go anyway, girl. You can do it. So in a very not sketchy at all way, this waitress is like, Oh yeah, Santa's out in the parking lot. You're Olive the other reindeer? Santa's looking for you. He's out in the parking lot. He wants to give you a flying test. And so he abducts her in his mail truck. I feel like the United States Postal Service would frown on that, hopefully. To Olive from Dos Ex Machina. I never noticed that before, but that's so funny. <laughs> hey, don't tamper with the mail. It's a federal offense. That's a federal offense. Also, you're kidnapping somebody and you're gonna tell her that opening somebody else's mail is a federal offense? Come on, dude. So in the box, she finds a file and she breaks out of the truck. Postal regulations require you to stay put and keep quiet. <sighs> <sighs> and he doesn't notice. <laughs> so they miss their bus. The bus driver tries to complain about the postman, but he doesn't get very good customer service. I just called the postal service to complain about that postman. Guess what? I got that voicemail. And then he has to leave, so he tells him to go look for somebody who might be able to give them a ride in the bar next door. How well do you think that's gonna go? That's right, pretty bad. I'm Santa's replacement reindeer. I need a ride to the North Pole so I can help pull the sleigh and save Christmas. Oh, really? Let's <gasps> see. Oh! <laughs> Amazing! So these guys are just throwing Olive around. Not cool, guys. Now that's enough, fellas. Uh, <laughs> we'll just leave now. We don't want any trouble. Oh, it's Mr. Briefcase. Let's see what you got in there. Okay. <laughs> Y'all be a little bit late on the draw there, Martini. You could have gotten involved a little bit quicker. But Olive gives them, like, a disappointed mom lecture, and then they start being nicer to her. Maybe I'm just a little runt with no antlers. But it looks like I'm the only one who's trying to save Christmas. You could at least wish me luck. There are actually people out there who want to cancel Christmas. The Christmas season will be canceled. They feel guilty, so they start talking about, like, what they want for Christmas. A drill. What? I asked Santa for a reversible three-speed cordless electric drill. I'm too naughty to deserve such a nice drill. How they've kind of been assholes. And then they sing a song, because this reindeer is voiced, if you couldn't tell, by, uh, what's his name, the lead singer of R.E.M. Employment in these latitudes depends on old Saint Nick. So forgive us if we all have attitudes. We're up a frozen crack. And it's a banger song, dude. I love this song. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. We're really sweet and funny. We're not so bad, except for that bunny. Yeah, I don't trust that bunny, man. <laughs> He's got shifty eyes. Now that we know you, if you ever come again, we promise. 
Promise yeah. not to throw you. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. Go on, you guys. He can take you up in his half track. Olive, round John Virgin. Oh, like in the Silent Night song. Yes. Yes. My cat is scratching to get in the door. Perry, not now. <sighs> All right, but can you come in here and be a good girl, please? I will kill you. Look, movie. Anyway, round John can take you as far as the North Pole gates. After that, you're on your own. It happens. We're ready to go. Okay, bye. I'm Blitzen's cousin Schnitzel. Flightless, unfortunately. It happens. Yeah, don't feel bad. I can't fly either, man. It sucks. The puffin's going too? That's penguin to you, pal. Good luck. And Merry Christmas. Do I look like a puffin? Yes, but puffins are adorable. <laughs> but the guy that wants the cordless drill from Santa. Uh, he gives them a ride to the North Pole. So they finally get there. Yay! Hey, thanks for the ride. Here, high quality office supplies for you. Gee, city zoo envelopes. Thanks. Just like money. <laughs> I wonder if there's a casino. There might be. I feel like Santa could easily be a gambler. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but we're here now. So you can't get past the elf at the front gate, so what's a reindeer dog to do? Well, obviously, you get your penguin friend to give the elf a fake rolly and then sneak under the gate while the Rolex breaks down and uh, your friend has to pretend to be a repairman. I love this. There's like reporters everywhere. This is like a global event. Can you imagine Anderson Cooper just casually being like, and in other news, Santa Claus will not be flying this year. Now to the North Pole for more information. Actually, that'd probably be less crazy than the shit we've seen on the news this whole year combined, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, the mailman, just to kick Santa while he's down, he's dropping off a bunch of fake letters that are supposed to be from kids, but he just wrote them and it's just like, hey, Santa, you suck. Love Timmy, or whatever it says. It's like the held for review section of anybody's YouTube comments. I don't get too many of those because you guys are all pretty nice, but every once in a while I'll get one and I'll just be like, ouch, my feelings. So Olive shows up. Santa is confused, but he also has no choice but to let her try. So I'm like, sure, kid, you can be a reindeer. Everyone loves you, Santa. And all over the world, everyone is hoping you'll fly tonight and make their dreams come true. I mean, most people love you. I don't know how you treat your elves in this universe, but if it's anything like all the other Santas we've been looking at on this channel, they probably don't love you so much. <laughs> Hashtag elf union. Oh, hi there. I don't think you'll find a better dog, Olive. Now, please don't chew my tree. I like this tree. Mmm. Mmm. Perry, this is why I shut you out. I just learned that you'd better not pout, you'd better not cry, you'd better not shout. I'm telling you why. Why? A mysterious other reindeer has arrived to take Blitzen's place. As of now, the flight is on again. Oh, yeah, I remember. So they're all ready to fly, and the mailman, in a last-ditch effort to ruin Christmas, swaps the toy bag with the junk mail bag. That bastard. <laughs> Cares deeply about Christmas. <laughs> close, close friend of mine for years. <laughs> not, not, not housebroken, not to my knowledge. She is housebroken. Come on, Martini, be a pal. Where's Rudolph? There's no Rudolph, it's just one of those urban legends. Aw. That's kind of sad. I like Rudolph. <laughs> All of the other reindeer, huh? <laughs> well, why not? It's a season of miracles. Good luck, kid. Oh, thanks, Comet. Comet's just like, what the hell? Whatever works for you, kid. I love how the elves have, like, air traffic control. Santa, one niner, niner, niner. Cleared for takeoff on 22 left. Do you think Santa has to be, like, licensed to fly that thing? You think he has to, like, renew his license every, like, however many months? Like, pilots have to do, like, a check-in every six months? He probably just flies on license. Santa kind of doesn't usually care about committing crimes or anything. He breaks into, like, a lot of houses every year. 
but Olive does her very best and they get to the first house. So now the mailman, who is voiced by Homer Simpson, by the way, he kidnaps Martini now and he rifles through the bag of toys and he gets the train that he always wanted that Santa never brought him. Yes, he has Santa issues. But then Santa discovers that he just has junk mail and not toys. So, um... Olive uses her sniffing capabilities and tracks down the mailman. <laughs> Poor Martini needs a seat belt. But through a combined effort of Santa, Olive, and the reindeer landing on the roof of the truck and Martini scaring the shit out of the mailman, they get the presents back. So Martini takes the mail truck with a now tied up mailman in the back, back home, wherever that is. And Santa, Olive, and the reindeer take the toys and deliver the presents. Thanks for everything, Martini. What will you do now? Uh, you know, I'll do a little loan shocking, sell a little Amway. Don't worry about me. Merry Christmas, Olive. Amway, Jesus Christ. And Olive is using those like priority mail envelope things as like cardboard wings. So they fly around the world past Rolex Big Ben to deliver presidents to, among others, the Pope and Godzilla and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So Martini becomes the new mailman, I guess. Penguins being mailmen is not nearly the weirdest thing that's happened in this universe. Olive is able to navigate them back to the North Pole with her super sniffer, and it's a big success. And now, ho, ho, ho! Presents for the staff and crew. Aw, Santa gives presents to his staff and crew. Maybe they do have an elf union in this universe. Good for them. Aw, look how cute her little antlers are. Thank you. I know I'm not really a reindeer, but I'm proud I could help anyway. You've all been so wonderful. I'd love to stay, but I really must go home. I thought so. Let me finish my cappuccino and I'll give you a lift. So yeah, she decides in the end to go back home. Uh, she gets a ride from Comet. Martini drops off the mailman at the zoo and passes him off as a penguin. Looks like they don't have much quality control for the penguin department at that zoo, but you know, serves him right. Mm -hmm. All of the other reindeer says Christmas? Huh? Merry Christmas, Tim. I hope you're not too mad at me. Olive! I was so worried you'd never come back! Oh, and it's a happy ending for everyone, except for the guy who sucks. <laughs> and that's the end. Isn't that cute? I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. It's a Christmas classic in my house. It's just one of those things that I think is really clever and just never gets old. I love watching it every Christmas, so... I know you guys wanted me to cover it. Uh, if you've never seen it before, I hope you have enjoyed it and you will go off and, you know, watch it for yourself. It's on YouTube for free, so I'll link it, of course. But that's it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means everything to me. Uh, also, special thanks to my brother who is kind enough to be editing this video. He agreed to help me out a little bit so that I would be able to get as many Christmas requests done as possible. So thanks, buddy. You are the best. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. Ring the bell because my upload schedule is as chaotic as I am. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Got kind of tongue-tied doing it that time, but you guys get the gist. Bye! Mm. There's candy cane stuck in the bottom.